He flooded 30 inches of rain in one week. Bent rock layers are also found all over the world. These bent rock layers indicate the rock was bent while it was soft. If you bend hard rock, it's going to shatter and make little fracture lines all along the curves. I was in Crystal Cove State Park in Los Angeles. I saw these bent rocks. I went up to get a picture up real close. The closer I got, the more confusing it is because there are no fracture lines. All these dozens and dozens of layers were still soft mud while they were bent, and then it hardened. All the layers you see in the earth that are bent were all soft at the same time. They are not different ages. A friend of mine's a pilot. He sent me this picture. He said, Brother Hovind, as we fly over Grand Canyon, off to the sides of the canyon, there are sinkholes. The water runs into these holes and goes down, who knows how far, and then squirts out the side of the canyon into Grand Canyon. Well, if it keeps eroding away that sinkhole, it's going to eventually wash out and make another side canyon. After the flood in, in Noah's time, the surface would dry out first, leaving the inside still soft, muddy ground, which would slowly dry out. As it dries, it shrinks and contracts, causing wrinkling on the surface. As mountains lifted up, it would cause metamorphic rock to be formed. This formed, I believe, after, during and after Noah's flood. Skeptics say, well, wait, excuse me, now how did all these kangaroos get to Australia, and why are they only there? Well, the Bible, I believe after the flood was over, the oceans were smaller than they are today. Today the earth is under 70%, 70 percent of it's under water. I don't think it was that way right after Noah got off the ark. If you look at this map, you can see England and Ireland were part of France. If you lowered the water just a few hundred feet, everything would dry up in between England and France. That was probably the beach line way out there. You can see it from this satellite view. If you look very carefully, you can see that's England and Ireland there. You can see under the water and see the, the beach line where it used to be. The water is really very shallow along there. Between Alaska and Russia, the water is only 60 feet deep. About from here to that pole. 60, if you lowered the oceans 60 feet, Russia and Alaska would be connected. If you raise the oceans... America, all of Central America would flood. If you raise the oceans just 10%, this is what America would look like. One little island over in Appalachia and all the Rocky Mountain area, and that's it. All of Central United States would be flooded. Did you know Chicago is only 600 feet above sea level? 600 feet. You know, from here to the stop sign, two football fields. That's how high Chicago is above sea level.